Mr. Lando. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode. Um, today, you know, we're back at the gym. Finally, finally, the gyms are open. Um, I don't know whether your one's open, but hey, my one's open. Um, anyways, before I carry on with this video, please don't forget to subscribe below, hit the notification button because it really helps the channel to grow. Um, today, we'll be doing some leg workout. Honestly speaking, I try to keep it, you know, as um, very efficient as possible. So I was only in the gym for two hours, but at the same time, the main focus was the legs. Um, yeah, so without any further ado, this is the workout breakdown. Usually for me, before I start lifting heavy, I always start light just to warm up the muscles. So as you can see here, you know, it's, it's lightweight, but at the same time, I'm trying to increase the reps. That way, you know, tissue, muscle tissue can get used to, you know, the up and down, up and down motion. After this, I move on to the heavy stacks. As you can see here, you know, this is big weights. We're working out 100 kilograms. Obviously, my advice to people who want a bulk up, you know, lift what you can. Don't overdo it in terms of, you know, lifting too much. Because at the same time, when you do that, your form may not be right resulting into injuries and whatnot. So, you know, lift what you can and obviously try to do it as low as possible. Yes, it's gonna burn, but you know, form is better than actually quantity.
So after the squats, I move on to the leg extension. I really enjoy doing this exercise after the squats, mainly because we're still targeting the area that we targeted prior, which was the um, hamstring and uh, quadriceps. So yeah, um, like with the squat exercise, obviously you start off light to, you know, warm up the legs, then you move on to the heavy sets. After that is the drop sets. Um, so yeah, this is really beneficial for the hamstrings and the quads, like I mentioned. After this, I move on to the lying leg curl. Um, obviously, we're trying to work on the hamstring solely with this exercise. So you're obviously lying down and then lifting up. It's working the hamstring. Obviously, you start off light, then you build up and you start off heavy. Then after that, you decrease the weight. Always beneficial for, you know, the hamstring. Primarily, I'm working on these areas because I'm following, like, every exercise that I do is routine based. So you start off with a squat, you move on to the leg extension, then you move on to the lying leg curl because it's focusing on those main, main muscles that I mentioned, you know, the hamstrings, the glutes, and also the quadriceps. So that's why I'm always following this routine um, rather than moving on to another exercise that's not really following form.
Orlando on the track. After this exercise, I'll move on to um, the leg press. Now, the leg press like, is almost um, simulating what I've done with the squats. But with the leg press, you're sitting down and you're literally pressing, pressing the weight up and down with the legs. Obviously, you start off light, like I said, move on to a heavier sets. Now, the leg press, obviously, you're sitting down. So in terms of a cardio burnout, you're not really going to feel it. But one place that you will feel it is on the hamstrings and the quads. Definitely, you feel it there. Now, I enjoy this exercise just to complement what I've done earlier in the first exercise with the squats. If you do the hamstrings and the quad, you also have to include the calf raise. So yeah, um, or with this one, instead of um, doing a drop set, I'm more or less sticking to the same weight. That's like a plate of, you know, 25, 25 each, so I'm lifting 50 kilograms. So guys, to finish the workout, um, I first of all do some lunges, then I move on to um, kettlebell squat, then after that I do the kettlebell swing. Now obviously this is more cardio orientated. The reason why I'm doing this because obviously I want to get the heart pumping as well, you know, just to finish off on a positive note. I'm trying to do one set each for all of the exercise that I mentioned. In terms of the reps, I'm trying to do it to failure. Like I said, all one set, just to finish off on a positive note. But yeah, I mean, honestly speaking, um, cardio is important. No matter how you get it, whether you run or, you know, just try to do some sort of cross circuit training in your exercise. Um, it's really beneficial, like I said, for your heart.
guys, thank you very much for watching this video. As always, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button. So when I upload the next video, you know, you will definitely catch it straight away. Um, without any further ado, I appreciate your support. See you on the next one. Peace. Please don't forget to subscribe below, hit the notification button because it really helps the channel to grow.